Hey guys, I'm going to explain why do we have an increase in the inspiratory pressure during inspiration in this patient. This patient is on APV CMV mode, which is similar to pressure regulated volume control mode of ventilation. The machine aims to deliver 450 ml of tidal volume every time it is triggered. It will do this with pressure targeted press. The pressure is determined based on a feedback mechanism from the previous press. If the pressure in the previous press delivered 450 ml of tidal volume, the next press will happen at the same level of the pressure. Otherwise, the pressure will be regulated up or down to achieve that targeted tidal volume. This regulation will happen gradually from breath to breath by two to three centimeters of water till we achieve the targeted tidal volume. Let's take a look on this breath here. This breath is triggered by the patient. You can see the negative deflection in the pressure. Once the machine is triggered, it will give the 450 ml of tidal volume. It will do this with the pressure at 10 cm above the peep level, similar to the pressure from the, from the previous breath. This pressure will be maintained for the duration of inspiration. Inspiratory time is determined by your settings, either by the IE ratio or the inspiratory time that is set on the, in the controls of this mode, depending on the ventilator. You can see as a result of this pressure here, there's an inspiratory flow that goes up to the peak inspiratory flow and then decelerates gradually. As a result of this flow, the patient or the machine delivers total of 450 ml of tidal volume. So take a look here. The machine is still in inspiration. What happened here? The pressure increased. Let's correlate this with the flow. You will see that we have a negative flow, meaning that it is expiratory flow. Expiration starts here. However, the machine is still in inspiration. This expiratory flow resulted into a decrease in the volume from 450, which is the tidal volume, down to around probably 380 or 390. So this is the amount of air that is exhaled because of the expiratory efforts of the patient during inspiration of the machine. The machine cycles at this point here. Cycling meaning going from inspiration to expiration. The inspiratory time of the machine is set longer than the inspiratory time of the patient. This is the inspiratory time of the patient and this is the inspiratory time of the machine. So what we have in this case is delayed cycling, meaning that the machine cycling time is longer than the patient's cycling time. The patient exhales at this point but the machine goes into expiration at this point. What you need to do is you need to shorten the inspiratory time on the machine. So if this is set actually at this point here, it's probably around 0.9 second. What you need to do is you need to make it at this point here. So around probably 0.6 second. This way you synchronize the patient expiratory efforts with your expiratory or with your cycling time on the machine. I hope this is helpful to you. If you have any question, please put it in the comments. Thank you.